This is me 1,000 days ago. And this is me 1,000 days later. Back when I was 12, I had the dream of being a game developer with the goal of having millions of people play my game. There's just not a cooler job, I get to make video games. And at that moment, I knew I would do whatever it takes to make that dream come true. Over the course of the next 1,000 days, I grew a lucrative YouTube channel, had my first viral sensation, and got my games played by famous YouTubers. And shout out to Juju Prod Games. I encountered obstacles that felt impossible to conquer, the loneliness of being a nobody, and the triumph of succeeding greatly. And over the 20 games and 50 videos I've produced, I learned three fundamental lessons that can help you achieve your dreams. It's been crazy, but to understand how we got here, we need to rewind. Back when I was a child, which I still am, I had different dreams and passions like being an astronaut, placing some dominoes, and trading stocks. But in the summer of 2017, my parents enrolled me to IV Tech, the camp that would change my life. Too dramatic? My, my bad. ID Tech was an all-day camp where I could code stuff while playing my favorite games, like Minecraft. That week was one of the best weeks of my life, causing me to enroll another three times. Fast forward to late 2019, I tried practicing the Java skills I learned by making some neat little projects and very unfinished games. Although these projects could barely be considered prototypes, they served as a stepping stone for what would happen on December 13th of that year. I opened the Unity game engine for the very first time. I remember diving right in, so oblivious to what I was getting into that I didn't even change the name of my first project. I was quickly overwhelmed by the knobs and panels my two baby eyes were seeing, so I turned to the one thing I knew how to do. After following my very first tutorial from Aaron Hibbert, the boy had a moving cue, but what I did next would change my life. I just made a first person shooter. I just made a- This was the moment I genuinely fell in love with game dev. It's just a moving cube, but I saw the infinite possibilities I could make. Over the next three months, I would improve my game dev skills with small, unfinished projects until I eventually found this website where I released my very first game. Clone Wars is a game where you control two astronaut singies with the same set of controls. And as a B-plot to make this video more interesting, I'm going to be recreating this game to see how much I've learned over these past 1,000 days. You don't want to miss it. March 2020 would be a very good month for Juju Productions as I published two more top quality games. Over the next three months, I continued making more games independently and collaboratively before moving to Phase 2. I knew the YouTuber Danny had hyped up Carlson to be one of the most wishlisted games on Steam. So to follow his footsteps, on June 11th, the world watched my grand entrance of YouTube glory. Hey guys, my name is Juju, and today I'm going to record my first YouTube video. At this point, I didn't really care about being a big YouTuber. I just wanted a platform to market my games, which is where I learned my first big lesson. When you're new, try new things. It sounds cliche, but I had no idea who I wanted to be on YouTube, so I just started making terrible videos to find my identity. Why? 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 Over the rest of June, I uploaded more games and videos using my cracked version of Filmora until July of 2020, where I started my magnum opus. Oh, that's cool. Anyways, I have some player movement and sound effects now. So far, progress is really slow because I want to ensure that each part of the game is complete so I don't have to revisit that part in the future. Anyways, I'm gonna go make some levels now. Oh, and that big project I was telling you about was... Dual Robots. A 3D puzzle game inspired by Portal where you control two robots through telekinesis or something like that to escape a laboratory. After uploading an announcement video asking for help, I assembled an epic team to make the coolest sci-fi game possible. And there's a million bugs. After two months of work, I released a demo and took a break to focus on one-off projects, where I got my first taste of YouTube success. 1,000 views. And then another with 3,000. After three to four months of working, however, we finally published our crowning achievement, getting a whopping 57 downloads and zero dollars in revenue. Over the next two months, the projects I made started to grow in scale. And for the rest of 2021, my love for YouTube grew. I uploaded a combination of one-off devlogs and overarching projects, each of which took so long to make with my editing style, where I learned my second lesson. Hofstadter's Law. It always takes longer than you expect, even when you take into account Hofstadter's Law. Don't underestimate your projects, people! 
And speaking of projects, I added some levels and music to the game. Things are going pretty good and I'm having a lot of fun making this, unlike Juju at the beginning of the year, since I went through an identity crisis. I really wanted to succeed on YouTube and I started losing sight of what had caused me to start in the first place. I made documentary videos, educational videos, spectacle videos, and I didn't really know who I was. Am I a game developer? YouTuber? Both? Who... Who am I? In the middle of the year, however, I returned to game development and started to make my current style of videos. These two projects on screen helped me cultivate my fast-paced edits while also interweaving my personality. And I started having fun again. I felt like I actually knew what I wanted to do. I felt like I actually figured something out. Every video was a step in the right direction and it only felt like a matter of time until June 27th of that year. Two days before my two-week vacation to Italy, I uploaded the video most of you watching discovered me for. I put a ton of love into it, just like my previous vids, and I felt like this would go viral. And off the start, it performed well. That number just kept rising. 30k, 40k, 50k. Every day I would wake up and get a thousand new subscribers. It was the most euphoric time of my life. I went viral. I can actually do this. Everything was perfect. Right? Why did this feel horrible? I, I just had the greatest time of my life. I didn't know what to do afterwards. I uploaded a part two, which did okay. A one-off devlog that did mediocre. A part three that performed uninspiringly. And my most recent video, which barely hit a thousand views. Everyone wants me to update this game, even commenting on completely unrelated videos. I had my moment of virality. Did, did I throw it away? What am I even doing? This is where I learned my third and most important lesson. And boom, the game is finished. We got two little players moving throughout our dungeon. <laughs> oh man, this looks so cool, dude. For over a year, I focused on making the perfect video that hundreds of thousands of people would watch, even losing what had got me there in the first place. And I finally did it. I thought everything would be happy and fixed, but going viral isn't the end of the story. After 1,000 days of game development, the most important thing I learned is that reaching success is just the start of a new chapter.